channel. Welcome to AM Break with Ann and Audra. We've actually changed things up just a little bit. Audra is not here, but joining me is Josh Cooper, and he's actually, we're debuting his cooking segment today. So right now we're getting ready to make some delicious lasagna, but before that we do that, we're going to go ahead and get to know Josh a little bit better. I'm a political consultant here in town. Um, I started working in politics right out of college. In 2010, we joined up with uh, a guy that wanted to run for governor here in Florida by the name of Rick Scott. Um, after he was elected, uh, I moved to Florida, served in his administration uh, as an executive deputy chief of staff for him for a couple months, and then went back to my private business and have been consulting ever since. Cooking's always been a passion of mine. Uh, when I was in college, I would grill out at the, at the fraternity house and cook burgers and, and steaks for my friends. And then when I became a father uh, with, my, with my kids, I really took on the, the passion of, of clean and healthy uh, ingredients to make, you know, make their dinners a little bit better. I didn't want to serve things out of boxes and out of cans um, because you know, growing up I, I, I had eaten that way and I wanted my kids to experience you know, fresh organic ingredients. So um, really they, they were probably my biggest inspiration for cooking. When I left the Bush administration and moved to Memphis, Tennessee to start my business, I, um, I met a bunch of guys that were on a barbecue competition barbecue team. And uh, you know, my love for food met my love for competition, and really, uh, that's what really got me uh, involved in the cooking process and learning how to, to build flavors and layer flavors. So, um, competition barbecue really stoked my interest, and then um, just passion for learning new things and, and then I decided to go try out for that television show MasterChef and, and here we are. My favorite thing to do in cooking, I like to take traditional barbecue techniques, um, your traditional pour, pulled pork or brisket or, or chicken and then I like to elevate it, take it to the next level so to speak. Um, so that's really what I like to do, I like to uh, infuse flavors, I like to take traditional what you might think of as traditional barbecue and put a spin on it and, and change the dish completely. I'm so excited to be on AM Break. You know, uh, to be able to share my point of view on cooking with, with, uh, with people here in Tallahassee and to go experience other fine foods or, or different restaurants in town. Um, you know, I'm really excited to bring my perspective on you know, my culinary journey uh, to, my, to my community and to my friends and family here in, in, in Tallahassee. I, I, I'm a, Extremely excited. Filming live in Tallahassee each and every week, you can imagine I've seen just about every business in town. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. But one business stands out above the rest and you see their cars everywhere. Where you ask? Right here at Kraft Nissan. I got my last three cars here and I'll get my next three cars here. It's no wonder that Tallahassee is a Nissan town. These guys make me feel super. I love that. Whether you're building a new home or remodeling your current home, at Brian Barnard's Flooring America, we can help you achieve the look you want at the prices the box stores can't compete with. For hardwood, carpet, tile, and rugs. For any area in your home, we'll take your design ideas and turn them into reality. From all the floors in your home to the walls in the kitchen and bath, we have the right products at the right price with exceptional service and installation. Brian Barnard's Flooring America, where friends send friends. Good morning and welcome back to AM Break. And we are here at Brown's Kitchen Center on Capitol Circle. And as you can see, they have this amazing kitchen where they actually teach lessons. But joining me right now is Josh Cooper. He is our chef. And what is the, what is the name of this segment? What did we decide on? We're going to call this What's Cooking with Josh Cooper. We're going to do a lot of different things throughout the, throughout the year. But uh, today we're going to start with a back to school treat for uh, families that are getting ready to uh, ex experience that, that hectic life of, of going back to school with their kids. That is right. All right, so we're doing a lasagna. What we're going to do here is, it's one of those things where, you know, everybody's busy. You got your kids, you're running around, you got school, you got football practice, you got ballet, gymnastics, whatever it may be. Myself, I have four kids, um, and I run a business, and I have to take care of the kids. So what I like to do is get some healthy food created, put into the freezer, get home at night, pop it in the oven, and in 30 minutes you're eating a, a fresh, healthy, Meal. All right, let's get to it. All right, so tell me what you're doing right now. Just talk us through it. Sure. Right now, we're, we're just doing a little prep. We're cutting up some shallots here. 
Um, we're going to mix this with some mild um, sausage, okay. uh, Italian sausage. We're going to make our sauce, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and get the, the pasta boiling here, and then we're going to layer it all up, uh, top it with some cheese, put it in the freezer or the fridge, and wait till we're ready to eat. All right, perfect. So and at the end of the segment, we will give you all the ingredients and everything you need to know, and we will also post the recipe online for you on our social media, Facebook, and all the rest of it, and you can check it out there if you want to try this out, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to. So. Absolutely. All right, so prep work. We're, we're on it now. So we got, we got those chopped up. We're going to thinly slice. Everybody needs probably my favorite tool in the kitchen is a mandolin slicer. We're going to take these zucchini squash, we're going to slice them real thin. Sure. We're going to add it into our lasagna. That way, you know, we're, we're tricking the kids. They think they're getting just lasagna, pizza-style food, but they're actually getting some healthy vegetables Veggies. snuck in All there, right, too. All right, you got to love that. All right, perfect. So, All right, do yep. you want me to do anything? Uh, right now, we're going to get this burner going. Okay. We're going to add the sausage. We're going to add some garlic, shallots, get that going, add our tomatoes, let that start to simmer a little bit and get, get the flavors going here. Perfect. So get this baby going. And let me pull out some sausage here. And it's going to be delish. Okay, all right, perfect. So again, ground mild sausage is the way I like to go. But you could go with, with hot sausage if you like. You can go with sure. ground beef. But it's a um, so mild probably. Yeah, better. mild's the way we go with, 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 with at our house. And it, and it really brings a, an extra layer of flavor because uh, the sausage is already seasoned up a little bit with some of that Italian seasoning. But you can do this at home too. Um, ground beef, add your own Italian seasoning. It's, it's, it's the same thing. So, um, but obviously simpler is sometimes the best. I agree. Well, that's browning. We're going to let that go. We're going to start slicing up our zucchini squash. Alright. Now the sauce that we're making is actually the same sauce that I made when I was on MasterChef. Okay. And um, Aron Sanchez and Gordon Ramsay loved this sauce. They thought it was very rustic um, and, and tasty. So I figured, you know what? If they liked it, we might as well keep going. So you get it going like that. You get these perfectly sliced, thin sliced nice. zucchinis Lovely. that you can use to layer into the into the um, lasagna. So. It's definitely a good tool to have in the kitchen. Okay. So we got the zucchini squash sliced up. Now, another little thing we like to do, I like to mix a little basil into my ricotta cheese to give it a little bit okay. of, of flavor and an extra layer. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this out, put it in here, mix that in, it's gonna be delicious. Oh, you're literally gonna mix it, mix it with the mixer, okay. Uh-huh, yep, yep. That fresh basil, very fragrant, delicious. Gives it an extra layer. Also, get some more greens in there. So I'm gonna break this up. All right. And notice that I'm not helping. I'm actually a horrible cook, so <laughs> you don't want my help. But this is very easy stuff to make. Okay, a little olive oil in here, a little bit of uh, sausage. Brown it. You don't want it to cook it all the way through because okay. you don't want it to overcook because sure. it's going to be in the in the sauce. Um, but you do want it to brown so that you're not eating raw sausage. Good call. <laughs> so we'll get that going. Now we're going to add the shallots, or you can use sweet onion or red onion or whatever you really want. I love shallots myself. Then we got, uh, I'd say, four tablespoons of, of garlic. Okay. Um, this is not fresh garlic. You can use fresh garlic, but I also like to use the, the garlic that's in the olive, that's in the oil that you can buy at sure. the store as well. Okay. Uh, just makes prep a lot easy. Right. You don't have much time. Again, this is something you want to make early in the morning, the day before. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the fridge. Throw it in the freezer, and uh, and then you you know just pop it in the oven. So, Perfect. a lot of times at our house. Easier is better, but also we want to stick with the best ingredients, organic if you can. Um, if, if that's not in your budget, you know, go with regular ingredients, but fresh is always the answer. Meanwhile, we can throw pasta. All right. Whole box? Yeah, cook the whole box. If you don't use it all, you can save it. Sure. Um, but I like to use it, so. I got, again, I got four kids, so 
this stuff doesn't last very long in my house. Sure. We don't always have time to stew our own tomatoes. So, you know, as long as you can get some good quality canned tomatoes, you can get some organic or, or uh, a, a, again, a, a no salt added version of these, of these ingredients, uh, you're probably in good shape. So I like to use petite diced as well as crushed tomatoes, the large cans for, for this recipe. Again, you can make it a little bit smaller if you want. Now, depending on how um, acidic you like your sauce, you know, a lot of people like a very uh, acidic sauce. Others, like myself, like a little sweeter. Right. So as you're cooking it, you want to taste everything, determine it. Is this a little bit too acidic for me? Yeah. And then you add a little bit of sugar and that'll help cut it for you. Okay. So, um, we'll let this baby go. The only thing left, I add a little can of tomato paste. Again, that helps with the sweetness. All right, tomato paste, yum. Let's turn this up a little bit, cook it a little faster. Yeah, there you go. All right, so. Let this cook down a little bit, and then we're gonna add some seasoning. You always wanna season everything that you're cooking, um, and you always wanna do it to taste. How are we doing on our pasta? Let's take a look. A few more minutes. Okay. Basil, parsley, oregano, all dry versions for the sauce. Okay. Makes, you can also use, um, this works too. So obviously we're not using measuring cups, it's just kind of to taste? Yeah, I mean you want to do, that's about a tablespoon there. Um, start with that and then, you know, a tablespoon of each and then once you kind of taste it, you know, work your way through, work it. Okay. Your way through it. I, I It's hard to, to determine uh, exactly how much to put in. Um, again, you want to season to taste most of the time. Okay. But if you're going to start with anything, I'd start with about a tablespoon, maybe take two tablespoons and see how we go from there. All right. Then we're gonna add some salt and pepper, some sugar, and that's pretty much the sauce. Nice. So let's get this going. So basically it's just just straight basil, mixed with some ricotta cheese, probably add a little bit of olive oil, just to give it. So it looks like a few cups. Yep. Okay. Right now, I think we're gonna go two cups, and you know, there's a little, a little thing of um, basil that you would get at the grocery store, a little plastic container full of it. Sure. Pick, pick the leaves off the stems. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put the stems in there. And that's, you know, maybe a, again, maybe a tablespoon of, of of olive oil, just to give it, just to get it lubricated up there for you. And then I'm gonna throw it onto the bullet real quick. Magic bullet. All right, so now we've got our ricotta basil mixture here that we're gonna use. Now let's season up the sauce with a little bit of salt and pepper. And again, we wanna do pretty much everything to taste. So now we're just gonna get a little See how we're doing. You excited? We're getting there. All right. We're getting there. All right. And Josh gets messy when he cooks, obviously. So. Very messy. Here we go. Very messy. That's okay. Cooking is dirty business. That's right. So the only thing we want to do now, this is a little bit too acidic for me. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. All right. Cut, cut the uh, acidity. You want me just to stick my finger in it? That'll work too. Same thing. <laughs> All right, let that seep in there a little bit. Okay, so sugar cancels out acid. That's right, Acidic, Okay. that's right. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can add water, but we're trying to reduce this right now, so we don't want to do that. Okay. And plus I like it a little sweeter. Okay. Um, so we'll let that finish reducing. Our pasta is finished. Yep, do you want to go and? Yes, be careful, don't, is it too hot, too hot? It is not. Okay, good. All right, so you got that part. Now, this is the fun stuff. All right, the only extra, the only thing that we have to do now, we've got everything pretty much done. We've got our spinach, we've got our pasta cooked, we've got our zucchini squash all sliced up, sauce is ready. 
the ricotta mixture, basil ricotta mixture is ready. The only thing left to do is our mozzarella cheese. So we don't buy pre-shredded cheese because it's got all the chemicals that keeps it from sticking. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make America great again. Oh. All right. Okay. First step, if you want to start, get a spoon maybe. Okay. Want to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom of the pan, and you do this so that the, the lasagna or pasta doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. So just go ahead and f put some in there and spread it around. All right. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to layer it. Pretty simple stuff. All right. Go one piece at a time. Layer it down. Overlap it a little bit. Next, we're going to go ricotta. I can do this without. It's a little, there we go. All right. Okay, so we've got our layers down, and now we're doing the ricotta. The ricotta, yep. The noodles are down. Ricotta's next. Just going to layer it down here and spread it out a little bit on each of the pieces of pasta. Doesn't have to be fancy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of layer it in there. Okay. It's just gonna give it an extra layer of flavor that kids are gonna love. All right, so we got that down. Now we're gonna go with our zucchini squash mm -hmm. that we sliced up with the mandolin. We're gonna go green, yellow, green. So you got your zucchini squash down. Now we're gonna add some more sauce. Okay, just right over it. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick. Again, this is a very rustic sauce if you're if you're buying a canned sauce, it might be a little bit thinner, it might be a little bit runnier, but um, either way, it's fine. It's going to all set when it cooks. But arbitrary again, you just kind of slap it on there. Slapping it on there and okay. just spread it out. Maybe one more spoonful. That should do the trick. All right. Great. Now, Add just a little bit of cheese. Just a little bit of cheese, not too much. You don't want to get crazy. Are you sure? Well, it depends on how much cheese you like. I love cheese. Joel hates it. I love it. Audra loves it. it it's good, but for this layer, you just want okay. to go, you just want enough to kind of make it stick. Alrighty. Um, and then if you want, you know, I like to throw a little spinach in there again. I like to trick the kids. So take the stems off. Very important. You don't want them eating a bunch of stems. Just kind of. Throw it in there, yeah, however you want. There you go. All right. Just a nice thin layer. Spinach, again, this is gonna cook down in the oven. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so now we're gonna do it all again. Okay. So, all right. got all that going. Sure. More cheese. And this we can load up, because this is the top. So if you like cheese, this is the time. Perfect. And the good thing about this, like I said, once it's all put together, if you want to eat it later that night, put it in the fridge. If you want to save it for two or three days, put it in the freezer. Pop it out. Good to go. Wonderful, but for our purposes, it's going right in the oven. It is. Hang on, let me... Do just a little bit more cheese. Sure. All right. All right, so we're opening the oven. Right, but we're also going to just oh, hit it I'm with sorry. a little, just a little bit of basil. Sure. And some oregano. Why not? So again, another tablespoon. Okay. Just hit it with that. All right, so we're going to go in. And like I said, since this has been cooked, already and then we're just going straight in maybe 10 to 15 minutes kind of want to watch it get the color that you want on the top all right and there you go all right so now we've been in for about 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes uh it wasn't getting brown enough so we upped the temperature maybe to about 400 if 350 is not doing the job we're going to bring it out here and just like that you've got your finished lasagna you can cut it up serve it to the kids or like I said, you can um, eat a couple pieces and put the rest in the, in the fridge or the freeze. All right, Josh, this looks amazing. 
Any other suggestions when it comes to serving it? Well, you know, you can take a spatula and you can pretty much cut it little squares sure. out and serve it, you know, to your to your kids and your family. Or, you know, what you can do is you're finished with it, it's all set, you eat a little bit of it, pop some uh, tin foil right back on it, throw it back in the fridge sure. or in the freezer, and you've got dinner tomorrow. Perfect, wonderful. And then of course you've got to get your bread and your salad, all those extra stuff, but we'll leave that up to you. That's right. He got you this far. So anyways, thank you so much for joining us for this and we'll have you back on the show on a regular basis. If you want this recipe, it will be on our Facebook page and you can also send us a message. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Located in Midtown Tallahassee, Bella Bella Italian Restaurant is where you'll find delicious, authentic Italian food at an amazing price, served with impeccable attention while enjoying a unique, found only in Tallahassee ambiance. Every day, customers enjoy Bella Bella's signature appetizer, bubble bread, followed by one-of-a-kind specialties or a longtime favorite crafted only at Bella Bella. A Tallahassee landmark, Bella Bella is a family-owned and run business focused on traditional values with the highest standards. Come enjoy lunch, dinner, or the best happy hour in Tallahassee. At Bella Bella, we live up to our name and make sure your visit is truly one of beauty. North Florida Women's Care offers the highest quality services for obstetrical and gynecological patients. We are a group practice of caring, industry-leading providers. We have the highest quality ultrasound equipment in Tallahassee. You can call or reach us online 24-7 at the patient portal for appointments, test results, billing, or to send a secure message to our nursing staff. North Florida Women's Care delivers the care you deserve and the trust you expect. Here we are at Brian Barnard's Flooring America, and we're going to talk to one of the other owners, Chris, and also a family member. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And what are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about our large selection of area rugs that we have here at Brian Barnard's Flooring America. And area rugs are a great idea, in my opinion, and all of my girlfriends, in that you can change the look of a room exponentially with just throwing down an area rug. Well, if you come in here, you'll see a large selection of different options. Um, not only we have handmade oriental rugs, uh, which uh, are great for softening up any space, but not always an option for everybody in regards to price and availability. Right. So we have tons of other options. We can take a piece of carpet that you know you like style, texture-wise, sure. have it bound mm -hmm. uh, into an area rug. Maybe you can get a larger rug for less money. You make it a lot bigger than this, though, right? Oh yeah, this is just an example sure. here. <laughs> And then also this one. I, I like the look of this one. I've got two dogs and a little boy and a boyfriend who wears really heavy duty boots in and out of the house all the time. So I need something that's gonna stand up. Yeah, another option to do, uh, um, a reason to do one of these rugs would be for pets or for heavy traffic. Um, cost wise, it's not gonna hurt your feelings if you were to get rid of this rug down the road, but we could put wide borders on these, uh, leather, cotton, uh, any width. Uh, we have uh, indoor outdoor products as well. You know, if you wanted to put something outside that's not going to mold or mildew, we can uh, have those options as well. And those feel soft too. Mm -hmm. And then you were also talking about another, uh, I think we we're talking about these, the more yep. natural. Yeah, we call these, uh, you know, the buzzword is sisal. Uh, it could be sisal, seagrass, mountain grass, but this is a very popular style and texture. Uh, a lot of people don't buy it for the softness, but more for the look. Um, we also can put uh, any type of border on these. Uh, leather borders are very popular. Cotton, wide borders. Um, you know, you can make these in any size you want. It can be used in any room. Sure. So, what is the biggest size area rug you all could do? Actually, um, sky's the limit. We could we could cover just about any space with a, a carpet, making it as large as you want it to. Uh, we actually have made the longest runners. Uh, in the state of Florida uh, at a sorority house here in town. All right, that's amazing. So any extra advice when it comes to selecting an area rug? Just know that when you're looking for area rugs, it doesn't have to be a thousand dollar or more oriental rug. You can find a style and texture within your budget here uh, in any size you want. All right, so in case you want more information, where does everyone need to go? Brian Barnard's Flooring America located on 2731 Capital Circle, or you can meet us online. Whether you're building a new home, or remodeling your current home. At Brian Barnard's Flooring America, we can help you achieve the look you want at the prices the box stores can't compete with. For hardwood, carpet, tile, and rugs, for any area in your home, we'll take your design ideas and turn them into reality. From all the floors in your home to the walls in the kitchen and bath, we have the right products at the right price with exceptional service and installation. 
Brian Barnard's Flooring America, where friends send friends. Every morning, the sun rises on our fair city. A while later, Chris, the late riser, wakens for a day of work and involvement in FSU and community, serving Tallahassee as he has for years. Across town, Brother Peter, the early riser, has already turned on the lights, checked itineraries, and game planned with loyal employees who've been showing up every day for decades. And as the day rolls into business mode, the brothers orchestrate what has come to be recognized as Tallahassee's premier auto dealership. Your car dealer, Kraft Nissan. Good morning and welcome back to AM Break. And joining me now is Brian Burgess, the capitalist with an O. Welcome to the show. It's good to be here. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So we actually have you here because in one week exactly, right after AM Break, we are going to debut the capitalist TV show. Is, is that the official name? Have we come up with that? Or are we still sitting on that? Well, you, you work with me on this. That's so true. We, sh we should know. We should decide by now. But but it is the capitalist, and I think we can leave it at that. Yeah. But it is th th there's two versions, and the reason I think you're asking is because we have the capitalist website, right. and we have the capitalist show, the television show that right. airs what Thursdays, and we're, well, just in a moment. Actually. Right, uh, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Yeah. on Fox 49, right after AM break. So we are excited to be uh, neighbors on Fox 49. Tell me a little bit more about what you envision the capitalist on television is going to be trying to make uh, Florida politics and policy a little more entertaining a little more fun that rather than the boring interviews about policy and politics I think there's a lot of uh, a lot public of affairs shows already cover sort of that sort of thing and it's right. the in-depth thing but I think what I'm trying to do is make it a little bit more fun a little bit more accessible to the average voter who might be trying to pay attention to these things and but it gets so boring they just tune they it out they tune out they right. uh, you know they start drooling right. so sure. uh, what I'm trying to do with this show I think is we have a, an election season coming up in 2018 and there's a lot of things already starting to happen in the election cycle in Tallahassee particularly but all around the state where people are posturing candidates are already getting into the race so the governor's race is going to be very exciting there's probably going to be a very expensive United States Senate race right. and next spring we have um, another le legislative session with the with all the Florida state lawmakers that come here and that they, actually starts in winter that start, well year. it starts in uh, a little two months earlier than usual right. because of the election cycle right. and so and during that time again uh, Florida has an 80 billion dollar budget there's a lot of money flying around in Tallahassee during that time period and I think there's a lot of, of issues in there that Florida voters and viewers would, would care very much about watching, especially if it's done in an entertaining, fast-paced format. All right, so we are very excited about that. Again, we are going to debut The Capitalist on Fox 49 right here at 11 a.m. every single Thursday, and we're excited to get that started. So right now we're going to end this review and end the show so we can go start working on The Capitalist. Sounds fun. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.